Let's check on them Spotify, shall we? So I thought I'd do a full face again today, guys. This is gonna be more of a really relaxed, very like, oh, that's a bit loud, sorry. It's gonna be more of like a relaxed chit chat kind of video. Just give, give me like a life update, I would say. I had a lot going on in the past week which I really want to share and I just want to see how you guys are going. Let me know down below what you guys got up to last week. Anything exciting, interesting, starting off the new year with a big bang. Anywho, I'm going to jump straight in. I think I might do the face first just because the eyes are going to be like kind of chill. Like it's going to be a bit of colour. I feel like I'm going to use yellow today just because I'm feeling quite uh, summer inspired. It's really hot today. It's been hot the last, let's be real, like the last week or so so I'm really like summer vibes inspired so yeah it's gonna be very daytime appropriate like it's gonna be like a daytime semi glam I would say so I'm not gonna go like full beat on the foundation I mean I say that now but let's be honest I end up going pretty glam so let's get to it okay mm. so I've already gone in and like cleansed my skin I'm gonna moisturize it give it a hydration back to it with my Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. It's a good hydrating base because it is a summer look. I'm feeling a bit like a bit of glow. And I know last week I did my oily skin kind of foundation routine, so I thought I'd kind of change it up because I really don't stick to one like routine on a regular basis. It's really just how I feel on the day. Like if my skin's feeling a bit dry, it's feeling a bit oily, I know it's going to be like a hot day kind of thing. So. I'm going in with moisturizer because I haven't moisturized my skin yet. So some of you asked why it's important to prime the skin. It's really just getting the base ready for the products that we're placing on top. So if you guys have quite like dry skin, it can tend to, and like dry patches, the foundation can tend to stick and cling to those dry patches and look quite uh, crusty and it's not really what you're looking for. Or if you have like oily skin, um, your, skin your foundation can kind of separate from your your actual face and it can look kind of like a mask it can kind of tend to like fade in certain areas and look patchy as well so we just take different steps to minimize that so it keeps an even base for as long as possible now that we're primed I'm feeling like that's basically what I'm gonna really do today I'm kind of feeling a bit lazy with my base and I just I don't usually do heaps of steps if I'm doing more of a less glam look if I know I'm gonna be wearing my makeup for a long period of time then I'll probably Put more effort into it but today I'm just feeling a bit lazy so I think I might mix like a couple foundations because I am not really doing a lot of matte priming I'm gonna use my fit me matte and pores to keep me matte for as long as possible and then I think I might mix it with my conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation just because this is my actual color it's the medium beige whereas this is creamy beige so it's a little light so I like to just kind of combination the two combination the two mix the two. I don't know what I'm saying today. <laughs> so I like to just put the both of them on the back of my hand and I'll like just mix it and swiping whatever's left on my fingers on to my face. But I'll grab my kabuki brush and I usually just like mix it on the back of my hand and just streak it on wherever and also make sure to bring it down my neck as well. So as I was saying this is going to be like a life update kind of video so I'm just going to kind of be chatting to you guys. Um, last week, so I'm sorry if I don't get a video up the week that I'm filming this, so it'll probably be up either the end of this week or next week, but um, yeah, I just got back from a uh, leadership camp, um, which was uh, amazing. I met the most incredible people of my life, like I've never met people so driven and inspiring, and there was like heaps of speakers at this course, we did a lot of activities that helped. Um, help work on our uh, leadership and communication skills which was really cool so it's just like yeah working on like communication skills through different bonding activities and roles where you're like shaken out of your comfort zone so you have to just like step up and um, push yourself which I'm all about I'm really passionate about like personal growth so this was like the best week of my life and doing it with people who are so like open-minded, non-judgmental, like really like a different kind of circle than I'm used to surrounding myself in. It was really refreshing. It was a great week. If you guys have ever been to like one of those camps, like a, like a personal development camp or like even just like 
a seminar or thing like let me know down below like ones that you really found you've gotten a lot out of I would love to like keep going to these kinds of things so just comment down below ones that you've actually been to or like re been recommended or anything like that so foundations on it's just like I did a pretty medium coverage base it wasn't all about that like full coverageness especially for like a daytime look but I mean it is up to you guys so each to their own. I'm going to go in bronze and then conceal because I like to use that cream bronzer just to give a bit of colour to the skin. So you guys know this product. It's, it's the um, Hula Quickie Contour Stick. I freaking love this. I literally need to get a new one because <laughs> it's run out a little bit. But I'm just like applying it to the contours of my face. I'm just like kind of like dot it on forehead, chin and draw the line. I also like to bring it a bit on my neck as well just to like bring it down. Oh and my nose. Can't forget less now. And I'll just go and blend it in with my kabuki brush that I used to blend in my foundation. So I actually have ordered some natural makeup products to try out which I'm so excited to do. I was going to do it for this video but then I thought oh I might just do like a makeup tutorial for you guys and then in my next video I'll do one of like reviewing the products. So I'm super excited for you guys to see that and like I'm also just excited to try it out. Like I haven't opened them yet because I know I just want to try it out on camera. So that's like so exciting. I'm so keen for it. So like I said I'm going to go in with concealer next. Just I'm going to apply it under the eyes, um, centre of the face and also kind of highlight under that contour we've just created with the bronzer just to kind of chisel it out and make it a little bit more defined. And then I'm just using my F86 Kabuki brush to like um, blend in that concealer. Always making sure to bring it on upward angle like along the cheekbones so that we give that subtle lift to the face. I also prime my lids as well, I didn't say that before, but I also place some concealer on my lids to prime those so eyeshadow has like a bit of like a tacky base to stick to. I always leave like the contour part of my face last to blend in because it sets in the longest so it kind of keeps that defined line um, better than it would if I just blended in first. Like it kind of wouldn't have that kind of as chiseled out line basically what I'm trying to say. So for the powder because we have all the cream products on now I want to kind of set that in place just loosely so I'm going to grab my Laura Mercier um, translucent powder and with just a dry like beauty sponge I'm going to like press that into the areas that I really want to like set firmly in place and then before we go in with like bronzer and stuff I just want to set my face quickly with like a setting spray just so that it locks that powder in, it doesn't look super cakey and it won't move throughout the day. And it's the one in oil control, so it's going to help with that oiliness throughout the day as well, which is really, really good. So I'm going to quickly go off camera and do my brows really, really fast. You guys have your own brow routine, so I just don't think it's like a necessary step for you guys to see. So I'll be right back. Boom, I'm back. Brows are done. So I'm going to go and firstly bronze the skin before I'm moving on to the eyes because we can do like highlight and lipstick and stuff at the end so for bronzer today I'm going to take the NYX contour and highlight kit and take the sh two sh edge shades and just kind of like not only like bronze so just go over the areas where you place that cream contour down but also kind of chisel out where the cheekbones are like just kind of go a bit more definition there and even just bringing it along this part of my face just where you naturally get that sun kind of hitting just here I like to make sure that I focus the bronzer on like this area up here don't bring it down too far because you lose that like structuredness to it I'm even going to take some of the shade sculpt from the NYX contour kit and just kind of like chisel out my cheekbones with that and then I go back in with some of that setting spray again and just kind of spritz that lightly over to set all the powder products in place. So now I'm going to move on to the eyes. I'm just going to zoom you in. So we've already primed our lids before. If you guys didn't, just go ahead with like an eye base, concealer, whatever you want to do. Just to make the eyes like tacky so that the eyeshadow really sticks on. It's going to be like a super simple look today. I'm not thinking anything too complicated. Just make like a... Like a mustardy, like smoky eye. Like, oh, mustard has just been 
mm, it's been it for me lately like i just i told you like i have the mustard shirt the mustard like woolen like throwover thing like i'm just all about the mustard lately I even have a dress like guys it's it's good life's good so i'm actually thinking i might even start with butter cupcake like lightly in the crease and then we can like build it up deeper from there so i'm going to grab like a big fluffy brush this is just the uh, i think it's the 221 soft crease and just applying that through the crease like back and forth and i'm just starting with like a little bit and then just building up making sure i'm holding my mirror on like a down angle so that i can slot that brush right into the crease where I want the product to be dispersed. Just kind of fanning it out like so, just on the outer portion of the eye. I mean, the, the lid's going to be like covered in the yellow as well, so it doesn't matter if you get it on the lid. I just really want to focus the blending first in the crease. And then just on like a Morphe MB16 brush, I believe, I'm placing that yellow, the Buttercup Cake shade, all over the lid. Just kind of lightly, like no really rhyme or reason to it. I just kind of want it to be like a wash, kind of like a wash look over the lid. And basically like that's the eyeshadow for the top part anyways. Done. I actually might even grab some of this like Kevin Aquan diamond eye gloss. Because I want it to be like a little bit, like just a smidgen, like a bit shimmery. I don't want it to be like too like glossy. I'm not going for that whole like glossy lids look. It's more just a bit of shimmer there like a smidgen amount so I'm just going to tap a little bit of it on my finger and just kind of like lightly lightly like an emphasis on the lightly part <laughs> just like dab it on the lid more center of it really do you see the difference it just gives it like a little bit of something just a little bit I actually ended up like tapping it on the back of my hand and then using the excess to place on the lid just so I made sure like I didn't want too much of that gloss on there like I just wanted like a little bit of like a shimmer a bit of like a sheen kind of thing going so next for the winged liner I'm taking my hyper sharp wing liquid liner from Maybelline and I'm doing quite an extravagant wing like not like a little tiny flick like maybe like an in-between nothing too big but like not like a simple small one because it is quite a simple eyeshadow look so I do want like a bit of like a wing kind of there so I've got my wings on. They're like so this is like kind of like how I think I was going for. Like I like it when you close your eyes, you've got that straight line. Some people like it with more of a flick. It's really up to you guys how you do your wings. But like I said, I did want something like a little bit more extravagant with this look. I mean you guys can go thick, thin, like thicker, thinner, like it's up to you. So next to the eyes, I'm actually going to bring some of that yellow underneath the bottom lash line like so and this is just that same chisel shader brush kind of connecting it up to where that wing is and just tapering it in towards the inner part of the eye making sure the most pigment is just here on the outer corner and just grab that fluffy brush with whatever's left on it that we use to Create that crease blend at the beginning and just soften the edges of that yellow. And literally like that's the eyeshadow done for today. Like mm. I might do like a brow bone highlight and stuff, but just not yet. So for mascara I'm taking my colossal mascara from Maybelline. So the lashes I went in today with are the ones from House of Lashes. They're in the style, uh, what are they in the style? They're in the style Temptress Wispy, so they're just like nice and like really soft, but um, wispy, I guess that perfectly sums up the name. I just wanted something that would stand out against that liner, but nothing too extravagant, and I just feel like they look kind of natural way, like, I don't know, I really like these. So moving on, we're going to do highlight and then the lips to finish off this look. I think I might add a bit of faux freckles as well because I feel like that would look really cute with this like summer look. So, yeah. Anywho, for highlight, I'm going to go in with my Violet Voss Trio and I'm taking both Moon Gleam and Star Glow and I kind of mix them together and just place them on the high points of my face. And then I just take Moon Gleam on the tip of my nose because I want that to be the most popping. And again, just taking Moon Gleam on 
I might keep it to both. Then I like to actually just take like solely um, Star Glow, the medium shade, and I place that on the bron bronzer parts of my face. If you guys have acne or imperfections that you don't want highlighted, then I would skip the step. But I just like to have like a bit, bit of like a like a bronze kind of glow so that's the highlighting part done it's now finally onto the lips and I'm feeling like a glossy nude like a real kind of pale nude it looks so pretty with this yeah so in saying that I'm going to first of all take my nude lip liner in the shade 049 natural and place that just like line my lips and kind of fill them in a bit and it's basically like the exact same colour as my lips, just a little bit pinkier. And then I'm going to go over top with my Dose of Colours lip gloss in the shade Undressed. I'm thinking for like my brow bone highlight, I might take some of Moon Gleam again from the Violet Voss palette. And just slightly place that on the high points. And even on my inner corners as well, I think. And for those faux freckles I was talking about before, I think I might take my um, brown eye coal from Makeup Geek in the shade Espresso and just kind of place them with not really any rhyme or reason. Just on like the kind of around my nose area and cheeks. And then I just go and blend them in with my Kabuki brush. And this concludes today's makeup look, guys. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and comment down below any more tutorials you'd like me to film in the future. Also, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you guys can keep up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. And you get to join my YouTube bam bam, honey. <laughs> Otherwise, guys, I'll see you very soon. I love you all so much. Bye.